Hi, this is Mark Struthers. If you work in medical imaging, you've been called a lot of different titles. But what is the title or designation of your job today? Radiology techs used to be offended when they were called technicians. But that's changed today because we have different types of designations. Your job title does matter. It reflects not only your professional status, but your income level. Today we have a number of designations that range from a non-certified technologist all the way to a medical imaging technologist and a radiology assistant. Let's take a look. In general, operating medical imaging equipment such as CT scanners, x-ray machines, and other radiologic technology typically requires a license or a certification. This is to ensure the safety of both the operator and the patient as well as to maintain the quality of the imaging results. Let's take a look at the legal implications of both licensure and certification. In many jurisdictions, it's illegal to operate medical imaging equipment without a license. Violating these laws can result in fines, penalties, or even criminal charges. There are professional consequences for unlicensed operation, from uh, basically exclusion from the professional societies to loss of credentialing. The quality of the work output in any healthcare facility is influenced by a number of various factors, including certification and state licensure as needed. Many facilities point to licensure because this often ensures that professionals meet certain standards of education and competency, which can directly impact the quality of their work. People want to be assured that the person taking their images is qualified, especially when you're the patient. Well, credentialing and having a state licensure can play a role in ensuring quality. It's just one of the many factors that influence the quality of work in the medical imaging field. It is also crucial to consider other elements such as professional development, workplace policies, and individual commitment to excellence. Just having a license or a credential tells us that you've met the minimum standard to be able to do your job, but it does not tell us how well you do your job. It would make sense to have a national licensure policy for medical imaging techs, but licensure is controlled by each state and not all states have a licensure process for medical imaging techs using ionizing radiation. So who is opposed to licensure? Well, believe it or not, other healthcare professionals. The opposition to national licensure for medical imaging techs by some medical professionals is often rooted in concerns about the scope of practice. The American Association, for instance, has been actively opposing scope of practice by non-physicians. Although we have licensure and certification, it's important to note that certification and licensure are distinct processes and have different scope of practice. In medical imaging, the radiologist is usually a member of the American College of Radiology. You'd think they support this process, but... Many practices have turned to alternative staffing models, including non-physician radiology providers, such as nurse practitioners, physician's assistants, and registered radiologist assistants. While these non-physician radiology providers provide vital services, there has been a lot of concern about the quality of the services they provide and the potential for radiologist jobs being displaced by these providers. So the radiologist does have a concern about quality, but they're more concerned about the potential of their job loss. Using the same logic, nurse practitioners and physician's assistants also often oppose licensure and credentialing for medical technology. Technically, there is a large difference between the title of radiologic technologist 
and medical imaging technologists. But it's important to note these terms are often used interchangeably in some contexts, and the exact definitions can vary depending on usage and specific job roles. Most medical imaging technologists begin their career as a radiologic technologist and evolve through education, training, and scope of practice to become medical imaging technologists. It is important to note that not all medical imaging technologists begin their career as radiological technologists and become licensed and certified in a specific field or modality that may encompass medical imaging, for example, sonography and nuclear medicine. Radiologic technologists work strictly with ionizing radiation and under the supervision of a physician. So let's define radiologic technologists. This professional is a healthcare worker who specializes in the imaging of human anatomy for diagnosis and treatment of medical conditions. They operate diagnostic medical imaging x-ray equipment to help physicians diagnose and treat patients. They are not authorized to provide any form of treatment themselves. The definition for medical imaging technologist states this professional uses a variety of imaging technologies to create visual representations of areas inside the body. The term medical imaging encompasses several technologies such as x-ray, ultrasound, CT, MRI, SPECT, and PET scans. Each of these technologies is best suited to a different purpose. While both roles involve working with imaging equipment and patients, a key difference lies in the scope of work. Medical imaging technologists may use a variety of imaging technologies depending on the specific needs of the patients, while radiologic technologists primarily work with radiology equipment. So when we talk about scope of work, we're actually talking about scope of practice, and this is defined as the range of activities that a qualified practitioner of any occupation may perform, and it establishes the boundaries of that occupation. Medical imaging technologists can specialize in many different areas, including bone densitometry, cardiac interventional radiography, computed tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, mammography, and vascular interventional radiography and nuclear medicine, also sonography. They work in various settings such as hospitals, medical labs, doctor's offices, and outpatient centers. Again, the term medical imaging technologists and radiologic technologists are often used interchangeable, but is that the correct definition being applied to the job? So let's take a look at some difference here. According to the American Registry for Diagnostic Medical Sonography, they do not determine the scope of practice for sonographers. And believe it or not, currently there is no national regulatory body that oversees the practice of ultrasound. ARDMS credentials are considered voluntary and not a mandatory license required to practice medicine. That's why many of the ARDMS sonographers get their ARRT certification. The ARRT, or American Registry of Radiologic Technologists, has both ethics, scope of practice, and minimal standards that are published. The post-primary certification for sonography does not require a radiologic technologist primary certification. Now let's look at another organization that has medical imaging technologists the Nuclear Medicine Technology Certification Board. A nuclear medicine certification is a professional credential that certifies the competency of nuclear medicine technologists in the United States. The Nuclear Medicine Technology Certification Board and the American Board of Nuclear Medicine are two of the most recognized certifications for nuclear medicine technologists who are also medical imaging technologists. An MRI technologist is a medical professional that specifically operates MRI equipment that produces computer-generated diagnostic images. 
the scope of practice for a MRI technologist is related to magnetic resonance imaging equipment. For an ARRT MRI certification, you must first be certified and registered in radiography, nuclear medicine technology, radiation therapy, or sonography. Radiation therapy is a treatment process that uses high levels of ionizing radiation to treat patients. Because we are working with high dose radiation energy here, we'll need to have several types of people working in the radiation therapy department, all the way from the oncologist and the physicist and the dosimetrist to the radiation therapy technologist. The radiation therapy technologist can also be considered a medical imaging technologist. Radiation therapists work closely with radi radiation oncologists, nurses, and medical physicists to treat cancer patients of all ages. Now let's look at the definition of license and certification. Although they're often used interchangeably, they do have distinct meanings. Certification is a voluntary process administered by a non-governmental organization, such as the ARRT. It grants recognition to an individual who has met predetermined qualifications specified by that organization. Certification demonstrates that an individual has a specific skill set and background knowledge. Licensure is totally different. Licensure requires a governmental status to provide a license for practice in that state. A good example of this is you may have an ARRT certification, but you might need several different licensures if you work in multiple states. Credentialing is different than licensure and there are several credentialing organizations that offer certification and registration for individuals seeking to work as a tech in the field of medical imaging. The largest of these organizations is the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists, the ARRT. The ARRT provides primary pathway education and credentialing criteria for radiography, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, magnetic resonance imaging, sonography, and vascular sonography. They also offer post-primary pathways, and you can obtain credentials in any of the 10 disciplines via the post-primary pathway. You can be registered in one modality or multiple modalities. The organization has standardized criteria for credentialing and also for ethics, structured education, clinical experience, and does examinations for credentialing. Here we see some statistics from a recent posting by the ARRT on August 2023. Notice that we'll have the state and the country, and then we'll have the type of certification, whether it's RAD, nuclear medicine, therapy, MRI, sonography, mammography, CT, quality management, or bone densitometry, cardiac interventional, vascular interventional, cardiac vascular, and also we'll have an idea if you have a degree, a BS degree, or if you have a RA, radiology assistant. The last two columns are the number of certifications and the number of technologists. So what is the future of x-ray and what is the future of the x-ray tech? Obviously there's going to be lots of evolution in technology and the practice of medical imaging. Therefore there is a need for continuing education and keeping your skills up to date to match the technology of the day. Unfortunately, on the national level, there is no standardized criteria for operation and utilization of 
medical image equipment. This is done by state and by credentialing organizations. I hope this helps you and look forward to seeing you soon.